On many occasions I am asked what is the better car, whether it be the Land Rover or the Range Rover, and to be honest I find that question impossible to answer. To me it's just as difficult and complex and convoluted as asking me what, the, what, the, what is the better car between a Mercedes and a BMW. I just don't know, to be fair, and at the end of the day I think it's down to people's own choice. So it's pretty quick moving this car. It's certainly as luxurious as a Range Rover and it certainly is well built. The drive's the same, the transmission seems the same. I mean really at the end of the day you're dealing with an almost identical car as far as I'm concerned. People say the Range Rover is a bit more blingy, a bit more flashy, maybe it is. But at the end of the day I think this is pretty nice. I mean so leather trim dashboard with every gadget you could possibly think of it's an immensely comfortable car to drive I mean you really do feel a sense of superiority when you drive down the road in this vehicle as for the ride well you know it rolls and rocks around a bit but I suppose at the end of the day this thing is designed to go off-road and it's meant to go off-road you wouldn't want to be chucking these around a corner that's for sure in fact going down a motorway 60-70 miles an hour you've got no chance of swerving out of lane if you had to, but it's it's like riding on air. It's like going down the road in, a, in, in an ocean line. It's fantastic. The wing mirrors are absolutely enormous. I like that. You can see where you've been. You can see what's going on. Rear view vision. You know, it is obstructed by the headrests, but at the end of the day, even with three people in the back, I don't think we'd have any problems seeing out the back. And talking about people, I mean. How many people could you get in here comfortably? I mean, it's, it's absolutely enormous. There's more headroom in here than I think I can, in any other vehicle I've been in. Plenty of legroom. Center console is equipped, but it's at the same time elementary enough to be operated while you're driving along. We have your monitor here for your sat nav, etc., etc. Instrument cluster, very clear, very precise. This really is a wonderful car, and you put your foot down. And it goes. I mean, this thing feels like it could pull a house down. It really is that powerful. Certainly have no problems towing anything. There's a reason why Land Rover have been around for so long, and it's because they build cars that do exactly what it says on the tin. But the beauty about the Land Rover now is it's not just a, a bare bones chassis. You're dealing with luxury travel here, and you know, I don't really think it gets much better than this. This is a wonderful vehicle, it really is. Anybody who's thinking about buying a Land Rover buys one because they know what they're all about already. <coughs> Obviously you've got the, dis the Discovery and you've got the Defender, the different type of vehicles. This, I personally think, is like the luxury one. But let's see what it's like going round and round about now, because it's a big old chunk of the vehicle. Now what are we doing? 20 miles an hour. Well, you know, it, it goes around the corner so gracefully. I mean, okay, we're not going fast, but it's such a serene vehicle to drive. The steering is effortless, so smooth. I can't even hear the engine, for heaven's sake. You know, this is a great big monster vehicle. And it, get, it goes around the corners. Well, it's almost like it's floating on air. That's how good it feels. Accelerate away. No problem at all. What a wonderful vehicle. I can really see the attraction to these vehicles, but then going back to what I was just saying, I don't really know what to say about the difference between a Range Rover and a Land Rover. The brakes on this are so powerful, so smooth. It, it's, it's almost like you're being brought to a standstill by an invisible hand, you know. Everything's working in perfect synchronization. Everything's balanced. Everything's smooth. You can apply gradual pressure. It's almost like you can tweak the brakes as you're coming to a standstill. What more can I say? Land Rovers. This particular model. My word. What a superb car. What a superior car. 
anybody thinking about taking one of these for a test drive what I would urge you to do is probably probably explore the sport suspension a little bit because I think these cars are going to vary dramatically with the suspension um, what will let down a vehicle this size is the fact that it is going to be lousy on the corners and the only real way you're going to counter effect that now is if you have a sport suspension but do you want a sport suspension on a Land Rover maybe on a Range Rover yes but not on a Land Rover if I had to rate this car out of 10 without any exaggeration at all I would have to give it an eight and a half it really is that good